I wish I was a trumpet player. Why you may ask? Simple. Because each time he went for his instrument, she would say, bump it, play her. Asked him to use his hands and wrists to gently wrap them around her hips, so that when he brought her mouthpiece to the tip of his lips, people would ask him what he did for a living, and he would say, her. And as he played, she would stare, as if each single note would enter her earlobes and slowly pass down her throat. Continue south till it got to the love below, and she would ask him to play those like eighth notes until she say so. And if you know trumpet players like I do, you know he can't say no. So there he was, playing. Notes that were written on bed sheet music. I don't know what they spoke, but I know what they're saying, and that is that she is about to lose it. See, he's speaking to her in staccato, and she's looking back at him as if to ask if you got more. As he's standing there, she's in the chair, and I'm in the back like, I swear, I wish I was in trouble. But that was only until I saw her. And she, she made me wish I knew how to play keys. I always had a thing for a piano player, so when she asked her knew how to play, I would lie and say me. Because she had envisioned him as being a musician using the small of her back as the board. Had ways of letting him know that F major was her favorite chord and that as long as he supplied the music, she would supply the score. Which consisted of moans and groans. That lasted so long you would think that he had his foot on her sustained pedal. I mean, she was letting out the type of notes I didn't know you could sustain in trouble. And as he's tickling all her ebony and ivory, she's thinking publicly what I would never even do privately. And as I'm looking, I'm in the back like, God, please, why can't I be that dude who knows how to play keys? <laughs> but then, then I saw, I saw her, and she, she made me wish I knew how to play bass. See, she heard those dudes have real strong hands and wanted to see for herself if that was the case. Wanted to lay in his lap. Use her arms to wrap them around his arms to be the strap. And as he used his right hand to keep her in place, he used his left to strum right below her waist. Line. And as she heard the ensuing bass line, she let out the type of smile that made the whole place shine because she realized that that type of fingering takes time. <laughs> and he took his time. Strumming strings that had her mind wondering things like if music was his food, she wondered how he would taste. Wanted to try to find ways to get him back to her place, but she was a woman that would never do anything in haste. And I'm looking and know everything that's going on in her face, and I'm sitting in the back like, by God's grace, why can't I be that dude that knows how to play bass? And then just when I thought my MK of musicians was done, that's when I stopped to listen. And I heard the beat of the drum. Ask anyone who she wants in the band, and she'll say he's the one. Ask her why, and they'll reply with two simple syllables. Rhythm. Wants him to use both hands and feet. Place them strategically across her body to make a beat. Because contrary to popular opinion, most women like being tapped on their seat. <laughs> Start slow. Let it grow until it reaches a crescendo which will end with him playing both of her symbols. Symbolizing that he didn't just reach her inside, but he had also instigated her mental. And as I'm sitting here looking around, everyone's tapping their hands and thumbs. And as far as the brothers go, I know I'm not the only one because we all sit in here wishing that we was that dude that knows how to play drums. And then I'm mad. But just when I got ready to leave the venue, that's when God decided to part the skies and, and send you. And you make me glad that I'm a poet. Because even though I'm here and she's there, her stare mixed with my words touches her in ways that I didn't even know. It's as if each single noun would nip at the nape of her neck and past part of symbols parted nipples and made them erect and I haven't even gotten to the best part yet. You see, that's the part where I add words to add verbs to make sure that my adjectives aren't met with an objection, but rather helps me meet my objective, which is to have her. Have her to the point where she doesn't know what to do or say, and similarly, my similes have a wanting more of my metaphor play, and since I'm only doing this to write your day, we don't call this dichotomy's court, and I'm gonna be both judge and jury. <laughs> and I have no problem telling you 
what your sentence is. As I use subjects to subject you to understand what you've been missing is while predicates are predicated on you following what your woman's intuition is, which is the ultimate let me accomplish what my mission is. And if there's any English teachers in the room, I understand that I just ended those sentences with a preposition. So I'm hoping that my improper English doesn't make her say no to my proposition, which is let me prop her in that position. Listen, I know that I started off saying that I wish that I was a musician. But give me the chance to play any instrument that I would gladly forgo it. Because in an instant, I'm almost able to get you to do what I say simply by the way that I spoke it. So I want to thank you. I want to thank her. I want to thank she for making me glad that I'm a poet. Thank you.